hey there so in today's video we will be learning how to color the objects and how to make it look more realistic so this is what we are gonna do today so let's start I'll create open a new file and yeah okay so first I have to add some objects so this is the first object which is by default on your screen so to add a new object we will press shift a then we'll go to mesh and then any object like I'll choose UV sphere then press G and just place it wherever you want so I'll place it here then I'll add one more object shift a mesh and a cone so press G and then place it over here now let's check for the alignment now you can see it's not aligned properly so again we have to do it pressing G place it over here select G and I'll place it over here so we'll check from the top it's again not aligned so G I'll move along the Y axis so G plus Y and all right select the objects G plus Y and yeah so now it's properly aligned I guess okay so now we'll add a plane surface just below this object so to add it again shift a mesh and select plane so you can see the plane is over here now press G and we have to make it large so G plus S we have to scale it so G plus S and just scale it so again I have to align these objects so G and Z so over here G plus Z yeah then again G plus Z so okay we are done with the alignment now we have to add colors to this object so to add it we will go to the shading menu over here then you can see a very complicated structure here these are nodes so it's not that complicated but we will not go in detail about this we will just use it for changing the color so you can see the base color over here just click on that and click on that and choose whichever color you want to apply so I will choose a blue one ok now select the next object now you can see it's blank here so for that you need to create a new material so click on new and then this node will appear so again change its color I will give some yellow and you can even change you can see the metallic option over here you can just increase it so that it will give you a much more metallic look ok so now we will change the color of the cone press new and select the color ok now again we have to change the color of the plane as well new then pinkish color all right so we are done now I'll go again in the layout mode so you can see some options here like these are different modes this is wireframe this is solid mode these are basically different viewports not mode so material viewport and then ren rendered so as you can see this wireframe is basically used to look through the objects this, this is solid mode this is material view so and to get the realistic look we choose the rendered mode 
so as you can see it looks little real but not that real so to make it more real we'll go to this render properties then you can select uh, see these uh, this render engine over here uh, it's e so you change it to cycles uh, so it's it's looking more real now now okay so this is part tracing sample it's by default 32 you can increase it so so that you can get a much accurate image so as you can see now we have got the realistic look over here so now we will just smoothen up smoothen up this object okay so i'll go in solid mode again select this right right click over the object and shade smooth select the object right click shade smooth select the object right click and shade smooth so now when i render it uh -huh, you can see it's the objects are more smooth now and this is the light option so this gives the lighting to the entire picture so g and you can move it over so see and if you want to add suppose i want to add another light so i'll just duplicate this so uh, what i'll do is select the object shift d to duplicate and then you can see another light over here and i'll just place it somewhere over here and then just zoom it and yeah you can see a more realistic picture now and by the way this is the option here you can see a device a cpu you can change it to gpu if have if you have a faster gpu so that it will do the rendering work more fast so yeah we studied we learned how to apply colors to the objects so this is it for the video so in the next video we'll learn something more interesting so thank you for watching